right, let's go. Namaste everyone. Um, welcome to Hindi University. I'm really excited to have all of you this Sunday. As you know, my name is Ashutosh and we meet uh, each Sunday, uh, 8 a.m. Uh, US Pacific time, which is time in the um, the west coast of the US and we learn about the, the Hindi language. Uh, for those of you who are new to Hindi University, you can learn more about us by going to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Hindi University uh, and you will find all the the prior like Hindi videos that we have completed. If you are interested in joining the, the live classes that we have every Sunday, you can find all the details on this page which is tiny.cc slash Hindi University. And you will find all the, the Zoom link that we have uh, that kind of covers the detail to join the, the live classes, uh, the books that we are covering, and uh, you know also the topics are segmented you know using different like you know uh, sets that we are different levels and different you know uh, areas of you know hindi language okay so with that in mind just to kind of do a quick recap uh, we've been covering two books in parallel one is the uh, pingu learns hindi which is the book for complete beginners and in parallel we are covering the book for advanced and intermediate level which is the advanced hindi e grammar which is written by Professor Usha Jain. Okay, so in this class, uh, it will, will be an interesting refresher for both levels. Uh, for the beginners, we will be covering the um, things that we do on a regular basis. So it will be present in definite tense. It will be a quick refresher for uh, the intermediate and advanced level people. And then in the advanced uh, Hindi grammar, we'll be covering the new chapter, we'll be starting the new chapter from the Usha Jain book, chapter number 7 and we'll be covering the compound Hindi verbs. Don't worry if these terms sound intimidating to you. As we uh, get started, you will you will start feeling you know confident about both of them. Okay, um, before you know, I continue, if you have any questions, anything, uh, let me know and then I'll make sure that we, everyone is, you know, um, everyone is able to follow uh, the topics okay so with that uh, let's get started first i'll do the refresher on the present indefinite tense uh, this is something that was mentioned to me also that you know uh, as i'm going through the advanced grammar you still want refresher on the the prior topics okay um, so let's so we'll do present indefinite tense in Hindi. Um, it's also known as simple tense sometimes, but uh, um, what kind of sentences that gets covered in it? Let me ask before I you know, start giving my uh, thing in it. Uh, why do we need present indefinite tense? Like Vidya ji, let me ask you, unmute yourself and tell us what, what problems are they solving? Or what kind of sentences you will, you know, say in present indefinite tense i walk okay i walk okay that's a good one i walk okay what else can you give some more uh, i am a student i am a student okay okay yeah. anything else use uh, use a verb i mean it's uh, Oh. Like the way you have walk, right? I, walk, uh, I cook. I cook very I good. Dance. Okay, I cook. Let's see, I cook. I dance. Okay, very good. I dance. Uh, I travel. Okay, awesome. These are all good examples, right? So you see, in all the examples, they I just added some additional uh, words there but the the fundamental things is things that you do on a regular basis on a routine okay so i walk she could have just said i walk i cook and i dance to just emphasize the point i so i wrote daily weekly and regularly things that you do as a routine or on a regular basis 
not something that you are doing right now or you something you did in the past but something that you do on a regular basis like i drop my kids to school okay i go to office okay i eat i you know sleep right i mean things that you do on a regular basis all of those they sort of cover the present indefinite tense those are the sentences that you you use present indefinite tense to to convey those sentences okay that's across the board any language okay and that the verb that you have it here walk cook and dance the verb is um even though in the infinitive form you will say these verb as to walk okay to cook to dance but as you are saying it in the present indefinite tense you use this form walk cook and dance okay similarly in the present continuous tense which you are doing it right now you will probably say i am walking i am cooking i am dancing you are using the 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 you are conjugating the verb accordingly now how do we do that in hindi i know for a lot of you it is probably just a refresher because you already know it but i think it's still important because you know we have students um, at different levels so it's always important to just do a quick refresher okay so this time let me ask um let's see mastaram ji what do you think to walk how do you what is the infinitive form of the verb to walk chalna chalna very good right so you have chalna okay you have a ch l and na next one to cook what do you think it's to cook again you only mastaram ji to cook uh pakta pakna okay one more time pakna Okay, so pakna is being cooked, right? Oh, pakana, pakana, pakana. Very good, very good. Right? Pakana. This a, ah, okay. Pakana. P, k with a, and then n with a. Pakana. Okay. Next one also you dance. To dance is. Nachna. Very good. Nachna. Nachna. So you have a n with a, ch, and then n with a. Nachna. Okay. So these are the uh the simple verb that i expect you to already know uh, if not you can make a list of it so the first thing is before you start with any kind of like present tense definite tense or anything you will first recognize if things these things are done on a regular basis or not okay if yes you know you can use present tense definite tense next thing is like do i know the verbs or not if not i can use the formula to find out the the meaning of or how do you say these verbs in hindi okay uh now let's go to the jd maybe if i can ask you know take your time what are the things that you see here like what are the the pronouns here in this case um may aha uh, -huh. uh a okay so may is this one okay good so you said i is may yeah. okay and then v is Hum, hum, very good. That's how you say it in Hindi. Hum, and then they is. Uh, they. Very good. Ve. Okay, you have ve with a ve. Okay, so for I you said in Hindi it's me. For we you said hum, and for they you said um, ve. Okay, now we just have to combine everything together. Okay, um, let me ask Dal. you can help me combine everything together you for the simple sentence i walk daily you already know i is me walk to walk you know is the verb is chalna okay all you have to do is now use the verb or conjugate it for the present indefinite tense and and just say it is me uh chalte or I don't know how to conjugate. Okay, okay, it's okay. That's the that's the whole point of this section, right? So, so try your best. Try your best. So you said me. So let's start with this uh, one, me, and then there'll be something. How will you end it? Um, it's a chante. Okay, let's say we worry about the verb later on. How will you end this sentence if it is starting with me? Hello. Um, me, me, um. Very good, right? So you said me, hmm. So you have a her with u, and then me, hmm. 
okay so that's another thing we can do before i go into the answer so you have me hmm, again for present indefinite and for this one we you said hum and then hum hai very good hum form of the word and hai and then next one we we hai awesome awesome great now let's come back to the word conjugation okay so again you think yourself not you per se but like even if you're a beginner think put yourself in the situation you know that these are the things i do regularly you know that i've learned the pronoun which is me and then for present indefinite sentences usually they end with most of them they end with who right so me ladka hu me teacher hu me uh, indian hu uh, you know uh, me um, a computer engineer who right so all of them you're ending with who right so again now let's come back to a uh, form of the verb channa so the way the conjugation work is like you know you have a verb channa you remove the na and you put what do you do you put either ta te or ti i give you enough hint now you tell me what do you what how will you say me uh, me chalta o oh. very good me chalta ho i walk me chalta ho now you have to say i walk daily how will you say that it's not daily okay so how do you use the formula can you do you remember the formula hindi me डेली को क्या तो क्या अच्छा था को? हिंदी में डेली को क्या कहते हैं राइट सो लेट्स से यू आस दिस क्वेश्चन टू सुनीता जी ओके सुनीता जी ऑल योर्स हिंदी में डेली को क्या कहते हैं ओके दैट इज करेक्ट लाइक डू यू नो द हिंदी वर्ड फॉर डेली इफ इधर यू कैन से हा मुझे नहीं मालूम रोज रोज वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ऑसम सो शी सेट द वर्ड इज रोज नॉट द फ्लावर रोज बट रोज ओके आर ओ जी हियर ओके सो नाउ यू से फुल थिंग डन मैं इट्स ओके डिफिकल्टी डोंट बी शाय This is the the opportunity. Okay, good. Let's keep going. So, I roast chalta hu. Next, next one we will say we'll say we cook weekly. And I'm gonna ask someone um, who's never participated or not never, <laughs> but I've not asked them in, in recently. So let's see. Meera ji, you wanna take this one? We cook weekly. so first give the 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 template for we how will you end or start the sentence hum you say hum uh, hum yeah something here and then hum hai very good hum hai okay cook is uh, pakana okay so just instead of chalna you have pakana pakate and you said pakate for right. right so you said hum so for singular it's basically i'm going to erase this one so basically uh, te is basically for for masculine plural okay ta is for masculine singular t is feminine c 
सिंगुलर ओके ओके कीप गोइंग हम पकाते हैं वीकली वेरी क्लोज वेरी क्लोज I can't remember. Okay. Sorry. So, no that's okay. So, we what is a week? What is a week? For to give you a simple example, she said har din, which is daily. Har din. Har din. So, mm -hmm. very good. Har din. Similarly, it would be har har saptah. Yeah. Har saptah, har saptah. Very good, right? So, hum har saptah aur har hafte. हम हर सप्ताह पकाते हैं ओके हम गोन राइट इट डाउन हर गोन इधर दिस वन होप यू गाइस वर एबल टू राइट इट डाउन सो इट्स वेरी क्राउडेड हियर सो हम हर सप्ताह और यू यू विल हियर पीपल सेइंग हर हफ्ते आल्सो हम हर सप्ताह पकाते हैं ओके लेट मी आस्क यू अनदर क्वेश्चन आप हर सप्ताह क्या पकाते हैं मैं हर हर सप्ताह मिठाई पकाती हूं वेरी गुड राइट सो शी सेड मैं हर सप्ताह मिठाई पका पकाती हूं राइट सो यू नोटिस हाउ शी रिस्पोंडेड टू दैट राइट मैं हर सप्ताह मिठाई पकाती हूं एंड देन यू कैन मेक वेरिएशंस अराउंड इट ओके um i hope even the complete beginners are following it like you know the, the, this is the whole point is to just build build the confidence before we you know uh, right next one is they dance regularly okay uh let's see susan ji you want to take this one they dance regularly um it was start with the way okay so you start with way And and with and okay. And uh, regularly would that be like always or like? Uh huh. That's right. Okay. Where Hamisha mm -hmm. um, Natchte? I'll I'll take that one. So where Hamisha? I'll I'll change it as well. But it's okay. Where Hamisha? And then verb is Natchna. So you take the Natch and then you add, add Te. Right. वे हमेशा नाचते हैं दे ऑलवेज डांस एनी वन एल्स वुड लाइक टू चेंज द वर्ल्ड दैट्स ओके पॉइंट राइट द पॉइंट इज नॉट रियली इट्स इट्स लाइक आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू सी व्हाट एल्स अदर कैन थिंक ऑफ लाइक सो इफ इफ यू कैन थिंक ऑफ कैन थिंक ऑफ ऑल्टरनेटिव ऑफ हमेशा प्लीज ट्राई लेट्स सी नियमित वेरी गुड नियमित ओके वेरी गुड वन नियमित तौर पे वेरी गुड नियमित तौर पे सो दिस इज लाइक द वेरी लॉन्ग वन बट वॉट रियली इज सेम इज नियम इन जनरल वॉट इज नियम एनी वन कैन थिंक ऑफ नियम वट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड नियम it means rule okay from niyam come niyamit what is niyamit if niyam is rule what is niyamit according to the rule very good according to the rule you guys are on fire today according to the rule <laughs> according to the rule okay ओके एंड देन यू सेट नियमित तौर पे बेसिकली इट्स अ लॉन्ग वे ऑफ सेइंग रेगुलरली व्हिच इज लाइक अ रूल बेस्ड दैट्स व्हाट यू आर सेइंग हम नियमित तौर पे नाचते हैं ओके अक्सर दैट्स राइट अक्सर इज आल्सो यू कैन से दैट ओके आम तौर पे अक्सर इज ऑफ्टन यूजुअली ऑफ्टन यूजुअली Okay, I mean there are many ways of saying it, right? I mean, so I'm not saying one way or the other. The idea is you should know uh, varieties of you know ways of saying it. Any questions, anyone so far? 
Zig, what about you? Tell us your understanding. You, you, this is this too easy for you? You are able to follow it, or I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Um... Okay, no worries. Any other questions, thought before I get going? Before I pick. Uh... Something May I ask you what the difference is between Sapta and Hapta? It's the same thing. So, it is? Yeah, oh. it's the same thing. You can use either okay. of them. Yeah. Some people use Sapta, some use Hapta. Okay. Alright, so uh, this kind of like the basic, very very basic uh, sort of high level uh, overview of present indefinite tense. Before I jump into the chapter 7 of uh, Usha Jain book, which is the, the compound verbs in Hindi. Um, I do want to give some small quizzes so that I get to ask everyone. So I'm gonna write down about three or four sentences in present indefinite tense. I want you to, um, all of you to, to, to translate it, okay? Whether you are beginner or uh, advanced, right? So it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna write it down for you, okay? Um, so here we go here. He. He watches TV um, every evening. Okay, so he watches TV every evening, and then you have um, she um, she thinks. Um, I'm gonna make it. She thinks about exam regularly. Okay, I'm gonna just have one more. Okay, which is basically, I. I'm gonna take a different word. Okay, so while I'm thinking about the third one, I want you to at least start doing the first two. Um, I sleep. Um, let me just say, rarely. Okay, so I think this is reasonable enough. Somewhat difficult by because I added, uh, you know, some adverbs there. Right, so I hope it for beginners you can if this part is hard you you can skip the every evening regularly and rarely part but for advanced and intermediate I do want you to to do everything okay so let's see you have everyone get the time you can use the the zoom chat or Facebook chat to post your answers and then you know we will discuss that Okay, and then on Facebook, um, Karandai ji, Natalie, Leah ji, Gopal, Stephen ji, Vijay, Maddy. Um, so great to have all of you. Right, I think this is reasonable. Nandini ji, how are you doing? Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Struggling with some of these, well, you know. I, I think you should get it without any problem. Let's do the first one. He watches TV every evening. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, so you have uh -huh, and then you have hai. Okay. Uh -huh. Right, and then you have watches is uh -huh. Dekta hai. Okay, so you have dekna, but you remove the na and you put dekta hai. Uh -huh, dekta hai. Okay, वह क्या देखता है? वह uh, TV देखता है. वह TV देखता है. वह TV कब देखता है? Uh, हर शाम. शाम. शाम को और Yes, शाम. either way is fine. You can say हर शाम. हर शाम. TV देखता है. TV okay. देखता है. Or you said the other way also. You can say वह शाम को TV देखता है. Awesome. Okay. So this is how you broke it down very easily. वह है. वह he watches and then you said where TV dekta hai 
विच इज लाइक द क्वेश्चन वह क्या देखता है राइट सो वह टीवी देखता है वह वह न्यूज देखता है यू नो वह मूवी देखता है एंड देन यू सेड वेन आई सेड लाइक कब दैट मीन वेन डज ई वॉच टीवी एंड यू सेड वह हर शाम टीवी देखता है शी थिंक्स अबाउट एग्जाम रेगुलरली लेट सी टॉम हाउ आर यू डूइंग यू वॉन्ट गिव दिस वन ट्राई Good morning, Ashish ji. Yes, please. Yeah. Again, waha. Uh huh. So start with the waha, and, and then end with. And the verb to think is, I believe, suchna. Very good, suchna. Suchna. So you remove the na. And I, I believe the word for or exam is empty hand for exam. Okay, very good. And I wanted to use the the word askar. For often or usually, but I think it may be different for regularly. It's okay. Sorry. Just say, just say, aksar. That's fine. Vah, aksar. Uh, aksar. Uh huh. Empty hand. Uh huh. Switch the head. Very good. Vah, switch the head. So you start with this template. Vah, and then head. Vah, head, and then you start with the second one. Vah. Because the verb is soch na, you remove the na, and for a female, you'll say sochti. So, वह सोचती है. She thinks. Okay. And the question could be, वह क्या सोचती है? Then you said, वह exam. Is something is missing here? About. Do you remember how to say about in about in Hindi? I'm sorry, I don't know. Will I use par to think on them? <laughs> About? Ke baare mein? Ke baare mein. Awesome. Ke baare mein. Ke baare mein. Thank you. you remember that? Ke baare mein. Ke baare mein. So now say it again, the whole thing. Vaha, askar. Aksar. 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 Sorry, excuse me. Empty hand. Ha ha. Ke baare mein. Sachti hai. One more time. Uh, uh, the verb is such na, so such ti hai. So o sound. One more time with o sound. Or then such ti hai. Very good, very good. वह अक्सर एग्जाम और इम्तिहान के बारे में सोचती है. Okay, awesome. Anyone any questions on this one before we move to the next one? Uh, I have one question. Yeah, please go ahead. No, no, it's all right. हाँ, पूछो. So the question is, वो अक्सर एग्जाम्स के बारे में सोचती है दिस वर्सेस वह एग्जाम्स के बारे में अक्सर सोचती है दैट्स व्हाट यू वांटेड राइट अच्छा ओके सो हेल्प मी फॉर व्हाट आई वर्क हियर्स में वह अक्सर एग्जाम्स के बारे में सोचती है वर्सेस वह एग्जाम्स के बारे में अक्सर सोचती है यस यू कैन से दैट इट्स रियली द एम्फेसिस एंड द वर्ल्ड हियर इज लाइक यू नो लेट मी जस्ट जूम आउट हियर वह अक्सर वह अक्सर एग्जाम के बारे में सोचती है वह एग्जाम्स के बारे में अक्सर सोचती है सो इट्स रियली लाइक यू नो दिस पार्ट विच वी आर अक्सर वी आर मूविंग इन दिस केस इट्स अक्सर इज कमिंग बिफोर दिस वर्सेस इन द सेकंड वन अक्सर इज यू नो कमिंग आफ्टर दिस पार्ट वह अक्सर सोचती है वह अक्सर सोचती है एग्जाम्स के बारे में अक्सर सोचती है Can anyone tell how the 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 emphasis is changing in both of them, the first one versus the second one? 
work so the first one is emphasis on her in the, in the uh-huh the second one is on the exams the second one where exams ke bare mein aksar sochti hai yeah okay the first one you're saying is the ex- emphasis is on wo aksar exams ke bare mein sochti hai yeah okay. she the emphasis on her i see okay okay and the second one is uh, emphasis on the exams okay anyone thinks otherwise pretty good actually anyone anyone thinks otherwise it is a bit of a question is it how you how you are worried about your exams the way you say i often you know thinking of my exam or i I think of my exam often. That's right. Or I'm just you know, it's kind of you know how you're exaggerating the situation or thinking about the exam. It's like a little bit of a little bit of exaggeration and drama. The culture comes with that. Yeah, yeah, totally. I think you know that's what I am. That's the. The totally, but I think what what she what Vidya Ji is saying is like, वह अक्सर सोचती है, okay? Versus वह exams के बारे में अक्सर सोचती है. I think it's the reverse of what. अक्सर सोचती है या वह अक्सर एग्जाम के बारे में सोचती है या वह अक्सर एग्जाम के बारे में सोचती है बट इन दिस वन इट्स Uh, my i lean towards hindi speaker would often use them interchangeably which they will right without really realizing what the emphasis is um a good good question actually anyone else it means it's a very clearly you know the, how you how you are worried about your exam or thinking about your exam so yep. you can say that i'm always thinking about my exam yeah. or you can say that i'm thinking about for thinking about my exam nowadays or, yeah. or more or uh, often or something like that yes yeah, yeah so it's a, it's a just that when the actor comes before you are you are kind of yeah more emphasis on the exam you are worried about the exam often yeah. which means it's a closer to your it's closer to you the exams are closer to you why yeah. exams ke bare mein ha actor sochti hai so i'm just uh, Oh, the exam is on the way. I'm just, uh, you know, thinking of it often. Yeah. Something like that. I don't. Know. That's that's how I. Yeah. So I mean, to, to me, not much change. Yeah. So to to me, if it is was, if she she thinks, where sochti hai, okay. If it is she thinks regularly or often, where aksar sochti hai. It where aksar sochti hai. No doubt, no question there because there is nothing to worry about, right? She thinks often. about the exam right i mean then it's like by exams ke bare mein aksar sochti hai i mean it's pretty close actually it's pretty close and then you know it's a you know it's it's there's no mistake in either of them hindi speakers as i said like will will use interchangeably and as most of you already said it like it's it, it's the tone behind it as well anyone else before we move on to the next one good discussion on this one kelly ji Just uh, my professor when I took uh, the Usha Jain class, uh-huh. they always just said to put the um, t- references to time or often right after the subject. So that was just what we learned. Awesome. But I'm sure what you said, people can put it back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Uh, let's go to the next one, and then you know um, I want to make sure if we spend enough time on the compound words as well. So the next one is I sleep rarely. um rita ji how are you doing you 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 go with this one i sleep rarely 
I think we read Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. My Kavi Kabar Soti. Okay. So, so May, you said May and then? Kavi Kabar Soti. Okay. So, May Soti. Anyone else? Rita Ji, what do you think, rarely? Me? Really? Yeah. I, I had Kabi Kabar as well. Okay, so. you also had Kabi Kabar. Okay. Anyone else? Or Kabi Kabi? Kabi Kabi is. Uh, yeah, not Kabi Kabi is. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. How about, how about make it simple? Come. Oh, how will you make it simple? Come, okay. Very good. Come, Yeah, awesome, awesome. Sometimes the answer is simple, right? I come, Soti. Awesome, great. Anyone else? Okay, awesome. So, honestly, uh, huh? Can I ask you about the, um, the torpar? Like, we have am torpar, uh -huh. and then, right, for um, regularly, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. or often. And then we have, it's kas torpar for... Kas torpar. Especially. especially. Yes. Is that it? Yes. What is, so, I get the kas torpar because kas is special. What is torpar? What is torpar? Anyone? Like Am torpar is common. Am is common, right? Yep, like, that's right. Yep, yep. Am no, is common. What is what does the torpar mean? Who would like to answer this one? What is torpar? Who would like to answer that? Uh, the way I torpar, I would say the way it happens. Yep, manner. Yeah, manner. Manner. Or As, the, yeah, torpar. in this way. Okay. Yep. yep. So break that down. What's where's the where's the which one? Torpa like tor is like it's is, it's is, not is it L Y? Is it just L Y? It, it is like you cannot dissect it further. That's what I would say. Like you cannot like really say this tor is this, par is this. So it's like together it's most common it is used together only. I'm tor par. Uh, but like, you know, it's really referring to the manner or the, the way things are done. But you are, are you, your question is like, which part in, in the in daily, for example, or routine? No, I just, I just didn't know what the thought part was. I, see. I see it like L-Y L or something. That's yeah. Not yep, yep. I mean, it is, it is daily actually. Like one way of saying L-Y is torpor. Right. So, you know, not all of them, but it's definitely like one, one of them, the category of LY would be torpor. Like usually, casually, you know, um, occasionally. Any other, any other thoughts, questions? All right. Now the next one, which is the um, chapter seven of Usha Jain book, which is like, how do you use compound Hindi work? Can I just say I'm so excited to be doing this chapter because I struggle so hard. Yeah. With this <laughs> it's a hard and, topic, right? It's a no, very... and I just like, okay, this is the phrase I want to get. Muje abhi ehsas hua, right? Like I just realized yeah. that, um, uh, what's his name? Who did we study? Rupert Snow. That book yeah. is two Usha Jane books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's that much was condensed into there, so I'm really glad we're doing yeah. this. So. Yeah. We will take some some you know some chapters or some like weeks to cover it, but I'll just go slowly on compound verbs so everyone can follow along. Okay. So what are compound verbs in Hindi? First is always Ted. Which one? Exactly. <laughs> this was Ted who lives in India, this yes. is his, he always uses compound verbs. Compound verbs, verb, like he mastered it, right? Because he yes. is staying there. Right? <laughs> right. So, I mean, I mean, it's, it's not that hard. Like the, the prereq is still basically you, you have to know the, the basic verbs. Ashutosh, yeah. I've been studying Hindi for five years. I now have four months to become fluent. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what are compound verbs, right? So you use your main verbs that we some of it we just covered it right main verbs such as like i eat so we have khana like i drink pina and then we sona you name it all the verbs khelna 
right? Um, um, uh, multiple verbs, okay? In Hindi, colloquially or as well as, you know, um, sometimes you, you want to emphasize the, the use of these verbs, okay? Just saying, using them itself is not enough for Hindi speakers. So they end up using some auxiliary verbs along with these main verbs to emphasize to emphasize the meaning or effect of it effect of what you're saying okay those are called compound verbs the challenge is this thing doesn't exist in you know in, in english that's why you know you you challenge yourself like why am i not getting it like why why is there a need to emphasize it why can't you just say maine khaya versus maine kha liya why why did you just put liya in the end right versus maine pee liya versus right so 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 some somehow you have to convince yourself that you know that hindi speakers do that they just they're not happy with just using the main verb they want to 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 dramatize the effect and that's why they're putting auxiliary verbs and when the main verbs are using along with the auxiliary verbs um you know, sometimes there's a context also in which this is being used. So you have to really see in which context these are being used. There are multiple auxiliary verbs that can be used with the main verbs, but three are very common one. You will see use of jana, lena, and dena. Okay. Um, so you'll see the speakers using the main verbs khana with, you know, and then the challenge is like the combination, which one goes with which one. That can be challenging as well. Like khana, can it go with den, lena, dena or jana, all of them, some of them. Right? So I don't have a rule per se, but at least we will try our best to see where it fits. Okay. Um, so far, I hope you're following along. So again, main verbs to emphasize the effect of these verbs, you are using some auxiliary verbs. There are many auxiliary verbs, but these three are the most common ones. Chana, Lena, and Dena. Okay. I think someone was asking a question, so I'm going to take a pause. Okay. Um, so right now we'll make very, very basic sentences. Okay. Uh, I don't expect you to just master it right away, but I want you to get comfortable just forming these compound verbs. Forget about the sentences at all. Like, just like try to add the auxiliary verbs or the part of auxiliary verb to the main verb and at least practice that okay now another thing that happens is whenever what is jana lena and dena um jerry i think you are raising your hand so why don't i ask you a question and then i'll take your question so what is jana go to go right what is lena uh to take okay to take and what is dena to give to give now another thing is when you use these auxiliary verbs with the main verbs all these meaning that you mentioned they will just disappear like ka lena you know you lena is to you know to um, to take but ka lena has no notion of to take right so the auxiliary verbs will lose their their meaning, but what they have done is they have given significance to the main verb. Okay, uh, that is the confusing part as well because when you are learning it for the first time, you want to really say, "Oh no, I know Jana is to to go, or Lena is to take, or Dena is to give." But when I'm using it with something else, I don't really see any notion of it. Okay, but because they are used as a auxiliary verb with another verb. Okay, uh, you can ask your question, JD, and then I'll will practice the compound verbs. Okay, this is a little little silly, but I need clarification. These are called compound verbs. Uh -huh. What do you call the ones where you have the noun and karna, like madat karna? Yeah. They're not compound verbs, but what are they? Yeah. What are they called? What do, you, what do you think? Anyone else would like to try this one? What are those called? What do you think? Well, that's... I don't see. I don't know what it's called because I'm not the grammar queen. But madat is health. Uh huh. Yeah. And so that's a noun. But to make it a verb, you add the karna. Uh huh. What are those called? 
Any, anyone, anyone remembers the grammatical term for it? Where's Tom? I'm sure he does. Karna nouns. Karna. Add Karna to anything. That's yes. right. Right, that's right. Homework Karna. Karna or Hona. Yeah. Are they helping by any chance? Helping words or? Who, who remembers that? Are those the fixed ones? Ki madad karna, ka istamal karna. Okay, anyone else? Um, karma is I'm a doing work, huh? so, so you are helping. I think somebody got... Conjunct, conjunct work. That's right, that's right. That's what, that's what I think as well, conjunct work, that's right. So what... Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah, conjunct work, that's right. Conjunct verbs. Thank you, Usha Jane, I just looked it up. <laughs> that's conjunct uh, uh, work. Alright, so let's get going. So right, right now, as I said, we'll not make complicated sentence. Right now, we'll just, you know, get some hands-on experience on like using and getting comfortable with. We'll start with Lena and Dena, and then next classes we can think about Jana. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take simple verbs, and um, we'll just use Lena and Dena in the form of imperative. So as I said, like you know, you have Lena. And uh, lo is basically uh, the imp one of the imperative form. And dena, the imperative form is do. Okay, and you can write this d with well, do. Okay, um, which is basically politely or requesting someone to do you know something. Right. So let's say you have um, you have um, rakna. Rakna is to. It's a hard one, huh? to keep. Can you give simple example of Rakhna? Oh, you mean like a sentence? Yeah, sentence, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kali plate rakho. Plate rakho. Plate rakho. What does plate rakho means? It's like place it there or put it there. Like keep the plate there. Put it there. Okay, what is Pese Rakho? Pese Rakho. It's like put the money or... Put the money, right, put the money. Put the money or keep the money. Okay, this is without using any auxiliary verb. Okay, now let's see the effect of auxiliary verb to, to it. So let's see, Kelly G, you use it with... Lo and do. Don't worry well, about the. Can I just ask this differentiation between like keep and put because it's it's really so different to keep and put. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, but you're saying rakna has both within that verb. That that's correct. Like you know, there will be examples where it is giving the keep or in the example there will be you know in English it will be put. Okay. Yeah. So let's see when you are using. Lo and do along with rakna, try to remove na and just say the compound verb together. So it would be so here it's lena and then dena. Okay, so it would be rak lo and That's rak do. Very good. Rak lo and rak do. And I have to find some mnemonic to remember for me to remember which is which just because yeah. when it gets quick i keep forgetting which one is the action to go away from yeah. and come to so okay. here's the thing like you know so just for everyone two verbs are there rakna rakna which is used with lena and dena okay we are removing the na and we are using the form of Lena and Dena. And because we are using the imperative form, we are using Lo and Do. Okay. As I said, they are mean, losing their meaning. There is no notion of Lena and Dena. But typically, when we take Lena, okay, it's coming to me. Right. The action is coming to the subject. Okay. 
मैं आ, किताब लेता हूँ मैं खाना लेता हूँ मैं हेल्प लेता हूँ इट्स कमिंग टू मी ओके वर्सेस मैं पैसे देता हूँ ओके okay? मैं गिफ्ट uh, देता हूँ सो यू सी द एक्शन ऑफ माई हैंड वेन आई एम लेना इट्स कमिंग टूवर्ड्स कमिंग टूवर्ड्स द सब्जेक्ट ओके वेन आई एम गिविंग देना ओके इट्स इट्स नॉट कमिंग टूवर्ड इट्स अवे फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट Okay, I don't know if it makes sense or not, but maybe with examples it will make sense. Okay, so so you have rakh lo and rakh to. Imagine if I were to say to Kelly G, "Paise rakh lo," okay, or "Paise purse purse me or wallet me rakh lo." That means she money. Okay, keep the money in the in the wallet. That is coming. To her. So, how would you know between if someone says that if they're saying keep the money in your purse versus you know put that money in your purse? That's where I get. Oh, I see. It's just context, you know. It is the context, right? Versus, I said to you. So, what first one is like keep the money in your wallet. Like so, the way I'm saying it is like you have to see that you know in the context. If you know, I'm saying like to to keep it towards you. You know, if I'm a shopkeeper and you know. Um, Not a shopkeeper. That's not the right example. But let's say, like when you're paying for dinner, yes. And somebody's okay. Yeah. And and somebody, everyone fights over the bill, which yes. I wish would happen. My yes. Life, right. But, okay. And then versus right. like the server, he's like, "Pese rakh do." That means just leave it on the table. Put the money on the on the table, and I'll collect it. So, from the user's perspective, it is going away from them. Pese rakh do. On the table. So, so like Kelly said, so in, in that example, when you go out, like, how would I say, like, keep your money? Like, if somebody's offering to pay, and I don't want to let them pay because I'm gonna pay, hmm. how hmm. would I say, like, for them, keep so, them, keep your money? Would that be rock, though? Rock low, because from that their be rock low, rock low. From their perspective, okay. you want them to keep their money to themselves. Pese ap rock low. So rock low. Rock low. Okay. Yeah. He, I mean. Wait, is it maybe I'm trying to just think of a mnemonic or something. So it's like Lena. Okay, it's kind of like put it away versus give it. You know, like Kelly, you look at Ashuji's action. It's so useful. I thought this is brilliant. You know, like it's Lena. Then we're away. Yeah. So uh, right. Let's let. I'm just okay. Go ahead. Yeah. So I think let's just do some more examples. Maybe this will help. Right. So so you have Rakhna. We did. forget about the whole thing like right now just practice even if it is hard for everyone right now just think about it is like i'm just using two verbs together worry about it later so let's do one more verb first so you have thing called padhna let's say what is padhna what is padhna read to read so let's see um i'm going to ask someone you know um tisina ji What do you think? You have to use padna with both of them, lo and do. Remove the na and pa. Pa. Pa do. Pad and then pa. Pa lo. Pad lo. Very good. And the second one is pa do. Pad do. Okay. Now the hard part is what does it mean? You are emphasizing the the effect of padna. okay another emphasis is like when you are using the you know lena it's for the benefit of the subject think about it like even for i'm taking the money rakh lo paise rakh lo it's for the benefit of myself versus and in this one it's for the benefit of everyone else Oh, Ashish, you know why I get confused with this? It's like because when I'm saying it, yeah, I have to think about it going away from or toward the other person, not me. Yep, yep. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. that's why it gets mentally 
jujitsu in my mind because I have to turn it around, you know? Yeah, yeah. The same with this. You're not, you're talking about the benefit of them, not like it coming toward me or away from, you know? Yeah. So that's the thing. Okay, yeah. So when I said to you, kitab pad lo, like when I'm telling, let's say my son, kitab pad lo, that means read the book for the benefit of at least yourself. Kitab pad lo. Like I could have said kitab pad lo, which is what the non-native speakers would think in their mind. Like why can't you just say kitab pad lo? Because it's so easier. You know, you have pad na and it's used imperatively. Kitab pad lo or kitab pad hiye. Why there is a need of putting lo to it, right? Pad lo. It's just the use of compound verb to, to make it a little bit more. Like, you know, so kitab pad lo. Versus I, you know, let's say my, we have played it and Along with my son, there are multiple other kids that are there. And I'm telling him, Kitab Pad Do. Which means, you know, it's for the benefit of everyone else. Like, you know, you have your other kids as well who are sitting along with you. And you are reading the book, Kitab Pad Do. Okay. Um, I'm thinking you guys are probably still like, you know, what the heck is going on? So give me your honest take. Who is, hands, raise your hand if it's somewhat making sense versus like, no in so, uh, yeah. 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 Um, it's like um, in a classroom, the teacher would tell, okay, the homework, if you have that one in the classroom waiting for the other, uh -huh. I can say, um, data, kitab, per so, that's right. So that might help to differentiate. That's right. So it's very, so. that's a very good one, actually. It's a very good one. Um, Do you repeat that? Because I couldn't hear it too well. Could you repeat that, Ashish? Louder. So it's basically you're in the classroom versus like, so she's saying I'm in a classroom and I'm telling one of the students, and if I heard you correctly, um, you know, you are telling Kitab Padlo, you know, versus Kitab Pardo. So Kitab Pardo is when she's telling each student like Kitab Padlo. Like, you know, for the benefit of yourself versus like she told one student, Kitab Pardo, to, to the rest of the students. And I hope I heard it correctly. Um, and I think it was uh, uh, Sharmila ji, right? Yes. What, ha, what happened? I am in the kitchen and I'm cooking so I have one head coach. Yes. Awesome. Um, any questions or any thoughts on that before I move? Um, you know, Zeg, you are raising your hand. So, yeah. There's a there's a um an example in a book that I read uh -huh. where it says like buy a shirt for yourself which uh -huh. which would be like you would use um Kareed Lo mm. if you have to buy a shirt for yourself. Mm. But if I tell you um buy a shirt for me mm. it would be but with um, Kitab Do, because you're not, you're, you are buying the shirt, but yeah. it's not for you. You're buying the shirt to give to me. Yeah, yeah. So it's basically yeah. another example would be Kharidna. Kharidna. Right, yeah. so you have Kharid Lo. Kharidna is to purchase or to buy. Kharid Lo versus Kharid Do. Again, the, the, the low is coming towards you, Lena, and yeah. Do is going away from you, right? I think Lena, if you can think of that, it would hopefully help you, you know, somewhat like at least remember the direction of the, the action, okay? Kharid Lo, Kharid Do. Even if it is not making sense for the time being, just try to see where it is fitting, Lo and Do, along with the main word, okay? And then slowly, I think the direction will come its own and on its own. So let's do some more verbs without thinking too much. And then um, let's say you have um, Karna. And similarly conjunct word Safai Karna. Safai Karna. Let's see. JD, you want to try this one? Safai Karna, both low and low. No, so karna, safai karna, right? So you just like rakhna, 
you remove the na and you put kaam okay so what is the uh, verb here yeah yeah joining the r with the na so it looks like a m yes oh i see i see here oh i see i see oh i see <laughs> sorry 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 i think i see it. it's i'm writing it very fast so it's oh, really so really sake, I, i really mix them together yeah. no sake car do that's right thank you so much for <laughs> otherwise that's right safai kar do and safai kar do right safai kar lo i'm if i'm telling you that means like for the benefit of yourself clean your own place right um safai kar do basically you know so that everyone else will will benefit with with, with that clean um safai kar do okay i should give an example what would you tell your kid if you walked in and you saw it was like a mess i i'll at least i'll tell them this one don't worry about the rest of the world at least clean your own place <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, if, then... If, you have, if you have company coming over or something would you then say like safai kar do yeah so if i have a lot of friends coming over like you know at least i'll tell them like you know first i'll tell them this one if they master this one then i'll move towards <laughs> safai kar do okay and... so it's kind of like a parent parental <laughs> threat yes. you know <laughs> <laughs> like i cannot expect them to do this thing if they cannot do it right i mean so it's that's how that's how my <laughs> patience level with them like you know so anyway i hope it 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 does make some sense if not don't worry it's a lengthy topic for the time being i just want you to to at least test it out the homework exercise is to really but, uh, test Ashiji, are you saying you can't say that your wife uh, children but you can say that your wife can do what what <laughs> what I cannot say. You have to practice your Carlo and Cardo ah. in order to get the children to, to clean up. Yes. Level of hundred percent. You can tell your wife that the Safai Cardo. <laughs> no, I cannot tell her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice, nice move. Uh. <laughs> Good. What is? It? Can I just ask? What would you say is the most common of the of the compound verbs that you hear all the time? Like, just if you had like one, two, or three of them. I mean, I think all of the, like I mean, honestly, Lena, Dena, and Jana. This is the right classification that the books have. Like you know, other ones are not used that much, but at least like these three, you will say, and even even among these three, Lena and Dena are very common one that you will. Oh, see. I mean, I mean, like the expressions. I remember oh, years ago, like Ted and Sangeeta Ji, they both wrote up just some of the common ones that yeah. they heard all the time. Like yeah. Rucklow in one, but like, are there some others that are just so? If I cut- think about them yeah. in that way as a word rather than trying to you know what i mean yeah so the most common one is them using it with themselves so lena along with lena and dena along with dena this is the very common one which is basically lelo and de do right so like you know uh, pani de do versus like you know khana lelo right so lena is also the main verb lena is also the auxiliary verb right so you see that in the first one i remove the na and i use the uh, the imperative of this one so le lo okay dena main verb i remove it and I, then i use it as an auxiliary verb de do and what does this mean so um uh, if you use it with 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 some nouns here it will make sense to you right so let's say you come come you came to my place and i'll say um khana le lo right so first one is like you know khana lijiye which is like i'm using as an imperative khana take, take the food khana lijiye versus like khana le lo um to 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 dramatize the the effect of it lena right for the benefit of yourself take the food khana le lo versus kind of like please and almost like please enjoy the food or yes yes, you know, yes. please make yourself sit down that's right khana, khana le lo okay. khana le lo versus let's say you are on the other side of the table and i'm asking you um palak paneer de do so you are you know de do and again you can use a lot of like you know um, 
things before that lelo versus deto why don't we practice it in the next class because that way at least like we'll have a lot of examples right um right. and that way at least like you know so i'll make a table i still have it i couldn't finish it but uh, will uh, not all the verbs can be used with both lena and dena so i deliberately chose some of the common verbs that can be used with both lena and dena um some of them can only be used with lena some of them can only be used with dena right like you know pehen lo like kapde like to to wear the clothes pehen lo i'm not going to say kapde pehen do right so you know pehen lo is like you know you're telling someone to wear the clothes right for the benefit of themselves not for the benefit of so some of them will only be be taking lena okay um but we'll continue it uh, similarly like soch na like i'm going to say soch lo right let think about it right uh, i'm not going to say soch do that doesn't make sense maaf maaf jiji yeah maaf maaf do uh, maaf uh, only tell maaf kar do maaf kar do not you know um uh, maaf you know you're using you said as you said like karna along with that maaf karna right so you can use do with that you cannot say maaf kar lo like maaf kar do for for you know please forgive maaf kar do maaf kar lo also we can do i have not heard it used that you know commonly maaf kar lo maaf kar do it's like you know you are forgiving someone maaf kar do dena so i have not used i have not heard maaf kar lo i've used the i've used and you know heard the second one uh pretty pretty often you know i know it's a long that topic and you know so i what does that mean that huh? mean um please forgive me or um, you know forgive me 